Hey guys, so first of all, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to those who are in the New Year now. Yeah, we are in the New Year now. It's like day eight. So I haven't done a braces diary in a while and I thought, so I thought I'd make one because this is the third episode. So I thought I'd go through the pack that they give you when you get your braces fixed. This might not be the same for the dentist that you go to, but this is what I got at my brace clinic thing that I went to to get them fitted. So they give you a toothbrush, um, and it's not just any old toothbrush, because it has a little dent in it that means it can fit around the uh, brackets, and there's a little pick one so if you got like food between your teeth you can just like brush it out with a mini brush you also get a travel toothbrush which looks like that but magic happens and you can one handed skills put it together like that they also give you mouthwash you, obviously you can buy mouthwash in other shops and this isn't the actual bottle that they gave me we just got some, you know, travel bottles, um, the other ones at my dad's, so I filled this up with other mouthwash. Colgate is good. Aquafresh stings your tongue like hell. They also give you a timer, which is full of blue sand, and you um, time your toothbrushing-ness. One and a half to two minutes, and... Yeah, it's like the recommended brushing time. They also give you these little capsules and although they may look like um, Smarties or Skittles or something, they're not. They're full of like this pink dye and this is the coolest thing, right? Um, so if you feel that you haven't like brushed your teeth very well, you put one of those in your mouth, you bite into it and this pink liquid will like spray all around your mouth and so you run it around your mouth like you would do mouthwash, you spit it out and then you look in the mirror uh huh and then all the stuff like if, if you see like pink bits in between your teeth that's like plaque and like stock food so it means like it dyes the leftover food pink so then you can like brush that specific area again and get it all out. So cool. I found that fascinating. This comes in very handy the first week or two. This, my good friends of the interwebs, is wax. You put candle wax on your teeth, okay? I will, I will explain. I've just moved so that I can have two hands free. Um, basically, what you do is you get a strip, you get like a little bit off off the strip and like there and like using friction you it's essentially just candle wax you like rub it in your hands like that and then it's like all squishy and then you can put it like if a bit of the wire is like sticking out of your brace or something because like when they start straightening out they like there's a bit at the back that like always comes off like you know comes out of the bracket and it starts rubbing against your mouth and it really hurts so what you do is you put it put it around the bit of um wire that is sticking out the back of your tooth it does taste funny but the most stressful thing is like when you're really tired and you've stayed up late on the internet so much but it comes to bedtime and you have to brush your teeth so you go and brush your teeth and then all the wax comes out so you have to spend ages putting all the wax back on again which is why I only have like two strips left after two weeks in your pack you also get given what is called the no-no list so I'm going to go through all the things you are not allowed to eat during your braces time you just have to deal with it number one on the no-no list is chewing gum I have my braces in for up to two years maximum and I am a chewing gum holic a holic chewaholic I am a chewaholic as well as a chocoholic so when I found out I couldn't have chewing gum for two years my face melted it did okay you're not allowed to eat pens and pencils oh no, 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 no. we'll be having none of that number three toffees a thousand times no, it will totally destroy your braces. 
boiled sweets. Because we live in the 1960s. Nuts. Not those kind of nuts, I don't know what you were thinking. No, seriously, nuts will destroy your braces, like, no almonds or peanuts or hazelnuts, mus, mus, that's, that's, that's hazelnut butter, that's, the butter's pretty okay, I guess, if it's smooth, but German fingernails, because we go around ripping people's fingernails and eating them, don't we? Biting your fingernails will definitely break your braces. Fizzy drinks, now, I will defy this rule, because I've been drinking Coca-Cola because it's fine. The only reason they tell you not to drink fizzy drinks is because it will stain your teeth. If you take them off, it will just leave like a brace-like shape on your teeth. For free um, teeth whitening if you want, so it's fine. You just get white teeth. Apples! You're not allowed to eat apples because you can bite into them and break the braces, okay? If you chop the apple up, however, that is acceptable. Pizza crusts. Not that anyone eats pizza crusts anyway, but you can't eat pizza crusts because it's bread. Moving swiftly on, you can't eat hard rolls or crusty bread at all because it bends the wire and knocks off the brace brackets. Brackets, I said brackets. Eating these or other hard sticky foods will loosen your brace, but you may not... and it never finished.